Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Python 3 tutorial. And that is a very, very stupid intro. I'm really sorry for that, guys. Well, on this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about file handling that is reading and writing files in Python. Uh, well, of course, QPython, because we're dealing with QPython, of course. And on this video, I'm going to be dealing basically on how to create files, how to open that file that file you've opened out to write to that file and also how to read the file you've written to so basically on this video I'm doing this video because of my you know subscribers and a lot of people have been asking me recently about how to handle files in QPython I mean they've been saying it's way easier to handle files in Python itself but I have to say it's not that difficult to handle files in QPython it's really easy and I'll be showing you guys a quick way you can actually do that on QPython so without much wasting time let's get right into it so um, let's get into our editor and this is just a brief you know code work last time and I just want to clear that out for you guys so yeah it's cleared I don't want that all that mumbo jumbo code having to distract us from what we're really here for so let's head on to this tutorial basically file file handling and this video is going to be based on let's say creating a file Creating a file. Okay, let's you know, creating, reading the file, and of course writing to the file. Also, well, there's one thing we should not forget about this is closing the file. That is, after you having to create this file, you still have to close the file and also, you know, open it. I mean, of course, open is supposed to come before close, but yeah, whatever. You guys get my point. I just want to put this out so I don't have to forget these things when writing my code. Let's go on to the next line and let's just actually put this in the comments so we don't have, you know, errors when writing our code. I think that's that. Ash, is that it? Yeah, it's supposed to be commented out. I don't know what's wrong, but let's just leave this on one line. Let's save our code and let's run and see if it should give us any errors. Well, I don't think it gives us an error, so we're good to go. So basically, handling files in Python has never been easier. I'm just going to show you guys where you guys can do this because I've been having these complaints here and there: Python files, opening files, reading and writing to files. And in case you having issues with that before, I, I rest assured you this is a solution to your problems. And if you're still not satisfied by the end of this video, just leave a comment down below, and I'll attend to that real quick. Probably post another video or something, but just tell me where. Or what you want from me and I just I'll just give it to you basically I give so let's head on to this to create a file in Python you can simply use the you know a variable to create a file it's as simple as that we can call the variable whatever name we want but I'm just gonna be calling it calling this one um file object so let's call this file object and this file object is just a simple variable and what it's gonna do is going to create a file for all so let's just create a file to create a file in Python, you can simply use the keyword open and add the parentheses to it. Now, you need to use the name of the file you want to create. So, I'm just going to call this file name, let's say desmond.txt. Oh, actually, I think we should use the py. So, let's create a Python file to show you guys how it works. Now, we've created a Python file by using the open object so once you open the object or open the file object rather you can simply choose what method you want to use to that file object to assess that file object so you can simply use the write method or read method or whatever method you want to use but I'm going to be using the write method since we've opened the file now I want to be writing to the file so let's simply create a write method opening method so now that's it we've opened the file using the open opening keyword and it doesn't mean the py is the name of the file and this it, this doubly just means we're writing to the file so we're basically writing to the file but let's just not do that let's just leave it as double because that's how it's done and since we've written or we've created this file we can simply use the file object I think I should copy this and just paste it every time I want to use it so let's use the file object and we're going to be using the dot write method so dot write and open your parentheses and close it so what you want to be doing here is that you want to write in whatever you want to use as you know whatever you want to be in that file you want to use or you, you've just created so basically I created the file with the desmond of py and the w now the file is open there's something you should not forget every time you create a file you have to use the close 
closing method so let's just you know use the closing method dot close so you, you could just use this whatever time you anytime you want to use this but do not forget to use this close method because it is really really important if we do not close our files with open our files will just be like really open there and it will just consume lots and lots of our memory so we don't want that to happen so we will have to close this every time we've, you know open a file so we've opened the file and we've closed it underneath so in between the file we've opened and closed let's just do whatever we want to do with the file so we've created a py file as a python file and you can simply write to the python file using whatever we want to write so i'm just going to write to the python file print and don't forget you need to use parentheses here so let's just go with the parentheses let's say something like print um hello world my name is this one yeah basically this is it and when creating files and writing to files you know you can just write all the files or all the text in one line you can use the file well the next line method or next line function whatever you call it to move to the next line so you can simply use the um, backward slash and I don't know what it's called but I call it the backward slash I mean if you call that the forward slash, if you call this the forward slash, I mean, why can't you call this the backward slash? <laughs> I mean, it's just, <laughs> I'm joking, guys, it's wrong. Don't call this the backward slash. Anyways, this is it. So you can simply use this by, you can simply use this in, you know, moving to the next line. And let's just print something else and say, uh, let's go with print. And let's just call this, inside of this, let's put in something like, um, and this is a new line so basically we've created a file and we're writing to the file now and after this I'm going to be showing you guys a clean way you can actually read the files or read the files you've written let's just you know pinpoint this and see if there's anything wrong with anything here I don't think there is it's all good and we're good to go. So we've created this file and this is the opening file right into the file and we've closed it. On this next part I'm going to be showing you guys a way you can actually read the files you've created down. So let's go for the file object and let's call this um okay let's call this first one the file file object writes file objects okay let's call this the file object w I don't want to have to write write over and over again. So follow the W, follow the W. Okay, yeah, follow the W. And this is going to be the file object R because we're reading to the file. So this is the file object R, and let's create a variable. So let's call this equals to. Let's copy this file object R. So this is meant to read files, and let's use the open keyword, open and this time we want to be using the desmond.py name also so let's go desmond.py desmond.py now this is the file we've created before so now what we want to be doing this time is not writing to the file but if you can guess read to the file yeah we're going to be reading to the file this time so we have to use the arrow so basically we're reading to the file not reading so we're reading to the file so we have to use the arrow string yeah this is a string so let's use this as a string so now we've, re we've read to the file and let's call this next line let's call this a text so basically text is going to be what we're going to be calling this and well, why not? let's just call it a python file because it's not a text so let's call this a python file the python file is equals to let's call this a file object read and this is going to be basically dot read so this is dot write and this is going to be dot read. So basically this is it. Now all you have to do is print out your python file since we've created a variable and let's just close out this. So this right here is creating a variable that allows you to read this. Now since you've read this, python has read it for you and we just want python to say yo python you've read it right? Python will be like yo I've read it. Check it. Python prints out this for us and we're good to go. So now there's something you guys should not forget and I want you guys to just try to guess what it is. I talked about this a few seconds ago and it is closing your files guys. After you've created your files you should not forget to close them. So file object read dot close 
and I think this is it. So let's save our code and let's run and see how it goes. Yep, this is it. So what this is what this has done is that it has assessed our Python file and see what we've written inside the Python file. So this file object opens the file for us, creates the file for us, and this file object that writes allows us to write to this Python file. Now since we've written to this Python file, we have to close it. Now I want to open another file and what this is going to do is that it's going to read the Python file we've opened. Now since we've opened the Python file, all we have to do is create a variable right here to allow us to read the file and then we can use the print function to print the file it has read for us inside the object. So now we've closed our file, obviously we need to close it and we'll save our code. Our code runs fine, there is no problem, no hassle, no troubles and I'm sure you guys should understand this video by now. Now if you do not understand this video, do not worry, it's kind of a bit complicated to get, but if you do, you're a genius. So leave a like on this video if you like it, subscribe, and also leave in comments, leave a comment if there's any complaints you want or anything you want me to sort out in our future videos. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and goodbye. A few moments later. Well actually, I am not done. I just want to show you guys before I go where your files you've created are actually located. Now let us head on to our you know our QPython file directory. If you can use this explorer you can also use the your actual EX Explorer or whatever file manager you have. Now when you create a file in QPython or Python, the file simply gets created inside of this folder right here. You can see the file down below. Now you can see that this is the desmond.py file and since we've opened it, we've written to the file already, hello world, my name is desmond blah blah blah. When we save or run our code, let's save, let's run, you can see that it basically runs as a python file. We've created a python file from another python file. I mean this is so amazing. I know you guys think this is like, you know, just boring stuff but this is actually very very useful when it comes to creating files in one language to another language, from that language to another language and this is very very useful guys. Do not underestimate the power of file handling. That will be for this video guys. Goodbye.